What's up guys? This is the Roferman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Tide War. Let's play as Bavaria. So to pick up where we left off, we have brought our force down from Berlin to attack this force that's currently attacking Munich, and I was quite I was right in my assumption that they are actually too weak to attack Munich originally, which is why they kind of skirted around. Um but yes, we will sweep away this force quite dramatically, and then this force will be positioned in Munich where we will rebuild it into a proper force and they will go east to attack Venice. And then we, we've hit the point where we might actually be able to sustain some sort of offensive operations. Because we have a good force in Central Europe defending Prague and Dresden and that area. We have this force down here that's going to relieve Berlin. Now we've also got a force that's in Amsterdam ready to push. So we're going to deploy out on the wing. We can deploy out on the wing and utilize the open ground. Push my cavalry up fast, try and intercept their cavalry. Ah! See, these men have no choice but to bayonet charge the enemy. Fortunately, <laughs> lots of these are garrison units, so I can just uh, send them in. And they're losing a lot of men. Garrison, I mean, some of these are reg regular line infantry, sure, but. You men intercept. Bayonet charge the Israeli. I mean, if we route, if we chain route here, that's going to be quite a problem. But actually, I don't think it's going to be that much of a problem because, I mean, fundamentally, we got guys. We got mass. This is before my actual, my good army is in the mix, you know? I mean, Israeli aren't bad, but, you know, I've got regular infantry mixed in here as well. And that is quite the block of infantry to try and rout. But yes, do as, take as, do as much damage as we can. Let's try to get one of these infantry units to focus on this unit of Israeli. Uh-oh. Those men are going to rout, because they're going to get charged by cavalry, and they're already wavering, so, yeah. That was to be expected. Overall, though, I think we're actually in a fairly good spot. The armed citizenry are going to leave, because obviously they don't like sticking around. Okay, then these men run. Although, armed citizenry, militia, militia. Ah, there we go. Chain route has started. Well, will start. Let's get my cavalry in there as well. Most of my infantry stuck around quite quite for quite a while actually for the garrison still there we go so they've seen off the garrison but the enemy has been quite decisively um, impacted so those horsemen are wavering might want to knock them out my wild dragoons are going to want to be withdrawn if you guys could knock out the horsemen that would be great let's get you guys out of there Hopefully you don't route. Hit the Azar. Get you guys out. There we go. Try form our killing box. 
because now we can start to engage the enemy with musket fire. Okay, you guys might actually have to try charge the horsemen as well. Pull back my hussars. Yep, so we're getting some bow fire in from the horsemen. Bashi bazooks are in. There go the Bashi bazooks. The Janissaries are on. The, are almost on the run. Charge these men plus the cavalry in against the remaining unit. You men both charge. You men push up against the Israeli. You men advance. We've still got these units that haven't even been touched yet. Grenadiers actually charge the Israeli. That's probably the better outcome for you rather than sparring. Because my Grenadiers will do a lot more damage to them in melee than they will do to us. Bit of a messy fight, but that kind of couldn't be helped from where my garrison troops were coming in from. You men fight the Azar. Good stuff. Lots of these troops are already quite badly depleted anyway. Chase down the Azar a bit before the game ends because we've got... Well, the kid knocked them down to a significant amount now, but yeah, let's, let's call it there because that got quite bloody. <laughs> yeah, we lost a good chunk of our men there, but then again, so did they. So you men advance, spend whatever you can. Oh, you, you can fully replenish, actually. And most of my units here are actually just garrison troops. It's quite handy. You stay where you are, because you're holding off against the French. We're rebuilding our strength here in Amsterdam, which won't take too long. And then we can push south and hit Brussels. Savoy, thankfully, are blocking France from easily being able to attack us. Poland might send some troops to sporadically uh, probe our flanks, but that's okay. If you guys push out from Breslau, that might be a bit of a problem, but we've got, at least we've got a good block of troops here. Six and a half thousand next turn, theoretically. Uh, Coburg said, yeah, you've been damaged, so we can't do anything with you yet, but Bismarck is going to go carry on with seasoning. Could probably do with upgrading you, really. Britain is carrying on her mass blockade of our coast. France is trying to get back at Savoy any way they can, and they're probably going to destroy them as they've sailed into that bay. Yeah. I don't mind the French agent running around, because we are also Catholic. And the funny thing is, the United Provinces can't afford to leave Brussels, because if they leave Brussels, then they will be leaving their last territory exposed. It looks like Prussia might be fighting against Poland, which is great. Could probably send some cavalry out to go and take out those troops there. You can't push on and take Stuttgart, not with your strength. But, oh, here come the Mughals. That's not great, because we don't have a navy. Thankfully, they're just blockading us. But we do have a navy. We have a collection of sloops. But I should really start to recruit some ships. Because say if I only had... If I had two or three ships, I could attack and destroy that fleet and bring their ship into my service. Oh, it's only a Jebek. Only a Jebek, I say. 208 firepower, hull strength 110. 1110 compared to my sloop, which are a bit pants. But I do need to take it out. Uh, send my cavalry forward to hit those skirmishes, because they'll take the fewest losses. Get 
You men back to Prague. You men just go chase down that Ottoman stack and get rid of it. Just to get rid of it. I think get you back to Munich. Carry on replenishing. You carry on replenishing. Your recruiting unit of Leipgarde Trabarten. We can now replenish both these units. So, this is a test. Can all of you guys leave Amsterdam? Minus four. Not yet, but soon. Then we can attack Cornelis van der Meer. Take Brussels into the fold. And then push on to Paris. Although they're about to get fortifications, which will slow us down. But it's not a deal breaker. Um, but... What to be honest, my war with Prussia? No. You won't interfere. To be honest. I don't really want to mass all my sloops because that would result in potentially a decisive battle I don't want. Like, if I leave, if I pull these guys out of port and attack them and I lose, then I open up my loads of other ports for potential invasion. So that's not really what I want, is it? I'm going to leave it, and I think next turn I have to put some money aside to recruit a ship. But it's a bit of a bum. Ooh, hold on. Can I... Tr no, let's not trade with them. Let's trade with... I mean, trade with Venice would be a good idea. Trade with Persia is usually a good idea. 13 colonies is also good, because that means we can... Oh, fair enough. Persia's good, because they're usually quite a stable ally for a long time. So we get 4,600. Okay, so this is an impact, but not massive. Okay, let's hit in turn. Really, I do need to build some ships. Recruit some ships from my port, because I do have a port. It looks like the French are sending more troops to Strasbourg, so I want to recruit a couple of extra units on my front. I think Poland might actually be running into trouble with Prussia, which is why they've ceased offensive action against us. But we're in a good position to begin offensive actions against both Poland and the Ottomans. Things are looking up and soon. Ah, nuts. Should have taken the opportunity when I had the chance. So that's going to be a bit of a issue. It's not an, it's not a deal breaker that to lose Copenhagen. I can retake it, and if, if I lose it, then that's... Eh. Well, no, if I lose it to someone else, that's not a massive problem. To be honest, Copenhagen's useful, but it's not the... I'd rather the Mughals go for Copenhagen than Berlin, for example. So I can't stop them. I mean, they might, to be honest, their army might be pretty bad. Ah. Let them go for it. As my strength grows, we will be able to uh, do a bit more to stop them. So let's try and build a fifth rate. Because even if we had just one fifth rate, that would have been enough. Because right now, okay, let's cancel the building of these farms. Let's... Yeah, they've also gone into raid Rotterdam. Can you chaps leave Amsterdam? Minus four. If I exempt you from tax, I can, but I want that tax, because now I get very little tax. But I might drop my two militia back to make it minus two. If I can steal this militia unit to make it minus one. Still minus two. Hmm, bit of a bummer. Do I pull back one more militia unit? Maybe. Just because I don't want them to break anything that I might actually need. Get Mr. Heinemann to put Brussels under siege. Lots of militia. I got lots of firepower. Just just siege for now. Let's cause some attrition. Uh, yeah, 
yeah, all of our lots of issues of trade here. So Britain, can we peace out? They want Brandenburg? No, but I will offer you. I don't give you any technology like that. Mughal nations, Mughal Empire. They're not going to take anything. What if I do peace and? Yeah, I was going to say, if I managed to do that, that would be the deal of a century. I'm not going to make peace with France, because screw you, France. I'm not going to give away Brandenburg. Got to be real careful when you're clicking on those uh, <laughs> those menus that you don't accidentally give away too much. Okay, so let's go for a regular, well, a fancy looking unit of line infantry. We need. We will need to build up a. Well, to be honest, actually, if we've got these ports, I don't know if they'll be able to pass across here and stop us. I'm not even. I'm not even taxing Copenhagen. No wonder that didn't help. God damn it. Right. Okay. But yeah. If this force builds up, you can drive east against. Maybe even take Vienna and try sue for peace for the Ottomans and just say, no, if I take Vienna, that's it. You're done. Savoy have gone. Okay, let's hit in turn. Britain have deployed troops behind our lines. That's a real kick in the knackers. But not a deal breaker. Not a deal breaker. Okay, so you're building up strength in Alsace. The Dutch are sallying at Brussels, so hopefully they'll sally. We'll destroy them and we'll take Brussels next turn. Hopefully. That will be the outcome. Yeah. 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 Just got to, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. Troubles, I can't build a navy to offset Britain. All I can hope to do is to occupy my ports and make it more difficult for them. Okay, so I'm going to want to deploy to the rear to take advantage of my advantage in firepower. Deploy. Deploy. There we go. Good amount of firepower. Not a huge amount, because I had to, did have to pull some back to protect Amsterdam. Militia units deployed, Prushank horse, just cover the flanks. Okay, that's a bit of a a bummer, but not a it's not the end of the world. Let's speed up time, because right now I've just got my artillery opening up. against the Dutch. Might want to redeploy some of these troops that are low, that high. So maybe the two units. Just march your way over here. There's no immediate rush because they're not running up. I mean we I mean they 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 attacked us. I don't know why you're not shooting. It's not because... Or is it because literally no one is in range of you? Okay, it is. Okay, so these units have to start running. Might lose a few men to the random artillery shot that causes some casualties. But fundamentally... Militia, militia, militia. Let's take... This Prushenk horse and go wide. I 
Priority target, for now, should be the cavalry. Because we've got so much firepower. We've got so much firepower against their uh, militia in the form of our line infantry that that's not an issue. What we need to keep an eye on is their provincial cavalry forcing us to deploy into square and then losing that firepower advantage. can hold off against them. Attack ground, see if you can catch any provincial cavalry there, but they're already down to 49 men, they're already wavering. There we go, the, the attack ground did get a couple of men. Let's switch you guys to round shot, begin to attack the incoming infantry. Deploy the Prushenk horse into the rear of the enemy cavalry. Unfortunate. You guys are managing to draw away enough of our uh, firepower. You're about to get into within range of my line infantry here, so at least that'll be some damage that will be wrought. Okay, you guys may stay in square for now, just to make sure that they, the cavalry charge does work for us. You may get out of square, form up, and begin to pour musket fire into the enemy. You guys canister shot them. Keep my cavalry wide. You men hit the New Z hit the um, Marines. My militia routed, understandably. You men form up your line. You men are going to have to charge their militia. This is not great positioning on the flank. You're going to have to advance to try and pick off some of these infantry units. You men keep blasting the enemy in the centre. You men blast that unit of militia. My cavalry are going to die, that's for darn sure. Hoping we can do enough damage to cause a bit of a morale oh did my militia come back they did good get back here my line infantry are routing which is unfortunate considering two units of enemy infantry here are routing you men hit the provincial line in the flank my Prushenk horse have just been beasts and they routed two units of infantry alone The militia are going to advance. I think it's because they've, they've had fire coming into the flank. Good, you men form up. So you've knocked out that unit of infantry there. Try and make them shatter. That's not going to happen so easy. Withdraw canister shot that unit of militia there we go so now these troops have formed up and ready guns engage that unit of militia there charge into the provincial cavalry 
good. Get back, get my militia back into the line, get my Prussian horse out on the flank. General's bodyguard, eh? Like me a bit of that. Gonna get shot at a bit by those marines, but that's okay. Just keep running. Killed a couple of men. Ooh, that's a lot of men, actually. They shot in that last volley. Keep you guys going wide if you don't route. So let's withdraw to make sure that we're getting our cover fire. Not sure where you're going. You're going to knock out a militia unit, which is pretty awesome. There we go. Get back to the centre. The guns should knock out the 8th Regiment fairly quick. We might lose our cavalry to the General's bodyguard, but usually it's always a good idea to try and knock out the General. Their, the, their Marines are firing into the combat. Their conscripts are about to join them. With a volley into the back of their General. So, but we might get hit worse, because we're bigger as a unit. You guys switch to round shot and engage the provincial militia. Deploy the cavalry. Uh, that's my commander in that unit that's gone. Go on. Bring your men into battle. And see what happens. Just out of range. Militia is probably going to spin around and go for my cavalry and take a waste a load of time. Okay, let's speed up time a bit because right now it's I've just got my I'm mowing down their militia. Canister shot, round shot, and the conscripts are going to route from the volley fire. Yeah, there they go. Push up my flank just to get even more musketry involved. Blast him! The 12th Regiment should be putting shots into the foot guards because they're so close. There we go, volleys into the Marines. That's a good amount of troops killed in those volleys. Even more volleys. Yeah. One more, one more each. There they go. And all my guns, switch on to round shot and engage the general's bodyguard. Speed up time, because right now fundamentally they're going to route to artillery fire. Well, they should at least, if not. They just give my cavalry more opportunities to... I was going to say maybe chase them around, but that would take an awful long time with one cavalry unit. I'll take the the win, because they've only got 900 men remaining. So the British are probably going to go for Hanover. Okay, now might be the time to try and go for peace with Poland. It 
see if I can kind of draw some of my troops from... Well, I'm going to have to draw some of the troops from uh, Dresden, I believe. Not Dresden. Prague. Drove them west towards Hanover. I mean, I'm surprised they didn't attack me off the bat. Yeah, that wasn't going to happen. I'm hoping that means because I've got those ships in port, like they can't actually transit to the main mainland. That would be a win, I think. Keep them bottled up. Bottled up for later. Pirates are massing in the Caribbean. Gonna have I, I have no option to expand in the Caribbean. So what have you got? George Bellamy, couple of infantry, cavalry, just a bit of a skirm, a bit of a raiding raiding unit really. So let's take. First of all, you guys can't recruit any more guns. So let's get. Two 2012s recruited. I don't really want to be weakening my front here, so I might take a block of troops back towards Hanover. Berlin, you can send a unit of troops down to Prague to try and maintain some amount, some form of strength. Uh, okay. So the Netherlands, yeah, they're unhappy, but they'll deal with it. New men replenish. That'll suck up almost the rest of my cash. So major nations, Poland. Peace and trade, Poland? No. Could try it with Ottomans. But it's not going to really help. Be really, be really nice to get Britain on our side, but I don't think that's going to happen. Why try and get Denmark off our back though? Because now we don't even. No, I'm not going to give you Brandenburg. I don't even have your territory anymore. Damn it! They might even get it back, which would be bad. Um, I might even might even be worth running these guys into Hanover. Although, no, that's a waste. That's a waste. Mass them. You're getting your guns. You are replenishing and you're going to get your own gun. Singular. You don't want to do anything. You're going to replenish. We can take out Brussels this turn. Or do I then say... I can't make them my protectorate, unfortunate. So you got seasoning. Instead, I'm going to actually make you go on to... Flying Shuttle. Coburg carrying on down the political techs. So you're probably going to get... They're probably going to go for Hanover, which is why I've got these guys back so I can raid and take the city back myself. Oh, I, hope I, I don't think I cancelled recruitment of the sloop. And I haven't built, I haven't upgraded my roads. I've not, I've not done so many things. Yeah, just keep you guys replenishing. Let's hit end turn. Part of the challenge is that Britain doesn't actually have, well, most of these nations don't actually have anyone else to attack except for me. French may push through into my lands. Spain's taken Morocco. Poland has done the sort of thing that we would expect it to do. Britain's actually dug in on the coast, so I might bring my... Ugh, right, okay. Right, 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 right. the best way to do this because I have a limited amount of armies. Ideally, peace with France. I'm indifferent to France. The Mughals are attacking the Marathas, which is great. The Marathas are attacking the Mughals, sorry. Ideally, I want peace with France. I might have to... I'm going to have to try and make peace with them because I don't have to give anything away, critically. I don't know, apart from because I'm the human player, I don't know why they declared war on me anyway. 
because we were at peace and we were both fighting against the Dutch. So it wasn't as though we were at war with each other. Yeah, they've rioted in the Netherlands. Okay, right, you're going to have to be exempted from tax, because otherwise you're going to... I'm going to... I can't exempt you from tax. You guys are going to have to go back, because you're going to have to be taxed. So you guys keep replenishing. One and a half grand. Diplomacy. France. Friendly. Peace. And I'll... I don't want to give you far by rank. They're trading with so many people they can't trade... Uh, they're trading with so many people they can't trade with, with us. Because, yeah, they are massing in Strasbourg. You can see it. Meanwhile, the Ottomans are just expanding. If I push out of Prague to attack this force... Not a bad idea. I might lose Prague temporarily, but it's only worth 265 a turn. Uh, which I'm only... Why am I so low? Is it because everyone's blockading all my ports and stuff? Probably. Because look at my ships. Britain's thrown into the blockade against me. Then the Mughals have got their one Jebek. Okay, right. I might have to crank up my tax policy to try and get some more short-term income. I oh, know that's going to cause people to shrink. Cause regions to shrink in terms of their growth. 1,400. So you men... Tempting, do I just... Okay, right, 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 right. We've been given a turn. We are going to... First of all, send these guns down to Prague. You men are going to mass in Berlin. And probably counter-charge Augustin Bronde. And you're going to pick up maybe even militia, because I might just need more numbers now. You guys are getting your one gun, and you're going to advance. You're probably going to try and sit on the river here and try and lure the, the Ottomans into a river action. I've got an agent in here who can go up to Coburg. Brussels will be ours soon. Okay, this is... Ultimately, there's lots of things wrong here. Let's attack this Polish army. Send them packing. We just keep defeating Spurs. And to be honest, I can probably deal with having half stacks in some of my frontier territories. But things like Prague, because they are so close to a significant concentration of Ottoman troops, I can't really afford to move them. Because it's raining, obviously we've got sound issues. Classic. There we go. And then combine my militia on either flank. Cavalry to the rear. We want to advance towards them. Because fundamentally we want the, the infantry battle more than the artillery battle because we have just so much more firepower than they do. So let my gun... To be honest, you guys are actually pretty good here. Run my infantry. Their cavalry probably going to be the focus for my guns. These irregulars are going to be out of luck. Push up. Get my Val Dragoons out wide. Get these men bane at charge the irregulars. 
are here in a charge. But I think it's just them advancing. There we go, there go the irregulars. Not gonna be able to catch up to them as quickly as we would like. Keep on pushing. And my dragoons are wide. Cavalry. My artillery's still picking at their regiment of horse. Maybe engage their marines now. Because the marines are engaging my militia. A little bit of artillery support will do them some good. Get my cavalry to try and hit the 3rd Regiment of Line, because they're upset. You men commit and hit the 3rd Regiment. My militia push around the flank. Oh, where are you going? I thought I was a, a line infantry spare, but I didn't really look. General's bodyguard is going to get involved in this action on the flank. So get my militia in. Oh, the marines are over here as well. That's not good. Get my militia to form up and fire into the combat. Let's hope we can knock out the enemy marines pretty quick. You may just fire it. Whatever. Hit the regiment of horse if you need to. Okay, you guys need to redeploy. Understandable that you're wavering. My vile dragoons are engaged in combat. Let's form up with my infantry here, because it looks like we might be able. If I break form into square, then run my militia back. My gunners to the rear, are they actually engaging the marines? Keep running. Don't f don't flee. I mean, this is not good at all over here. But the hope is I can just run my militia back, get them under cover. You men pour fire by rank into the edge of the guards maybe you guys might be able to knock out the enemy bodyguard you guys are sat here quite happily you men engage the foot guards because they need to be the marines need to be put down rapidly You men need to engage the enemy in the distance. You may need to charge the regiment of horse, which isn't ideal. The foot guards are shaken. Okay, good. Oh, I forgot my Prashenk horse all the way back here. Oh, the Irregulars are back here. Okay, Prashenk horse. Go after the Irregulars. Understandably, my Dragoons are routed. My Militia are going to be incredibly upset too. But we're going to have our battle line formed up to take him out. The militia are down, but now we're right where we want to be, mostly. So these cavalry, there's only 22 of them left, so keep 
attacking them, drag them off the saddle, do whatever you need to do. But my infantry, there we go, kill the enemy general. You men can chase down the marines. Form up, you men form up around the flank. There go the irregulars. Another good volley. You men, my men are wavering trying to chase down the marines. Okay, there we go. So the first foot guards are going to go down. Because they've lost about half their strength. You men all push up. General, chase down the irregulars. Third regiment's going down. Grenadiers form up. Fire! No, actually, the infantry units come back. So you guys, not retreat, but pivot. maintain the line two of them have come back the unit of marines have come back again the fools they've only come back because they've actually left the killing fields yeah there we go the marines have routed again immediately fourth regiment think oh I can win a shoot off against the militia sure but they've not counted on the glorious Bavarian troops up on the hill Yeah, there they go. Good, you dogs. Yeah, we are going to continue just a little bit. Not that I think we can kill men. We're going to kill many men, but it would be worthwhile to try and pick off a few of these marines. Because marines are good, it'd be nice to thin them out somewhat. Okay, now spin and go back to the 20th, because we weren't going to kill all the marines anyway. But we could. Well, no, I doubt it, because they've split up. Now pathfinding is a bit of an issue. We might be able to knock out a regiment of lions. It's really potluck when the when the unit splits up like this, pathfinding just really breaks. Yeah, just let them get away. Let them escape. Kill as many as you can. Because that's all we can afford to do. Yeah, they lost almost their entire force. Yeah. Could take a damn sight more than 300 quid to replenish. But at least you're probably as strong as you need to be to withstand almost any Ottoman attack. You are going to get into a better position once you've got your gun to advance from the west. So I might actually take you guys and preemptively get you guys marching back towards where the British could be. I doubt they're going to go for peace. No. Not want to give it Brandenburg. So Parvas is losing income from both of these. Weaver's cottages being destroyed. 
We get a cool grand next turn. I could just attack Brussels and get a smidge more tax this turn anyway. And start to uh, get the population to turn to convert to my... not convert, but you know. Accept the fact that they have new Bavarian overlords. Form a grand battery. Form a mixed. Form a infantry formation on one flank. Infantry formation on the other flank. Cavalry sit behind. Force them to come at me. I'm getting reinforcements, but I mean they're useful. But just get them to the back of my lines. They've accepted that I have the artillery advantage, so they are generally, except for the 13th and the 12th, coming my way. So all of my gunners attack the 7th, because they're right there. Oh, <laughs> that's a lot of shots. They only killed six guys, though. I'll push my cavalry around the flank to knock out these units. comes the seventh. There we go. I'm not going to push my dragoons up now, but I will do it to knock out those remaining units. That's right. Come at us. Hey. Cavalry and made it to my line. How novel. E men form up. Down they go. Okay, now I'll push my dragoons up. Bombard the militia unit that's right in front of him. Poor souls. They're going to get fired upon by the 3rd Regiment as well. Oh, oh, too bad about the sound. Oof. So you men push up. The actual infantry themselves are... Switch to canister. Just open up. They are probably... Yeah, they are shattered. All of you attack that one unit. It's a lot of artillery fire to withstand. You did well to stand for as long as you did. Provincial cavalry is getting involved. Our vile dragoons go hit the thirteenth. They haven't lost any men from that volley they attempted to shoot. They formed square. But I think we are going to be able to break it. There we go. The main force is. The main force is gone. Yeah, their square's broken. They form their own square. You men switch to round shot and try and blast your way through to the 12th Regiment of Foot. But let's just speed this up because. Okay, the new men charge because if you've got enough cavalry you can break the square so 
even though they formed square, it's not necessarily a... Ooh, they almost slammed straight into that defence. Uh, yeah, because we formed... Square isn't a, a checkmate. A complete checkmate, that is. It is partially a checkmate. There we go. So now Brussels is ours. An extra 700-ish in income. And France is within spitting distance. So the Netherlands, can you lose... Okay, no. I'm going to keep them in there now, because then we'll get a guaranteed turn of no zero public order issues. I mean, that... Uh, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, that that's annoying. Copenhagen fell to the Mughals, but hopefully the Mughals then take that as their successful attack, and they just decide, okay, let's not go aggro on the human player quite so badly. But yeah, we can't compete against the Royal Navy. Fortunately, that little army in France... Well, that little army in Germany has decided to stay stationary for another turn. I mean, part of the reason why my economy's in the crapper so much is because I'm spending so much of it on supporting such large armies and I'm not able to get the, the breakout that I really want. Don't worry. Soon. Soon. To be honest, it's tempting to co to group my forces and attack someone outside of Vienna. Especially now that a chunk of their forces have now left the Austrian capital's region. And engage them in the battlefield and sweep away the garrison. Then put Venice under a siege. And then withstand any counterattacks. That's probably going to be the best way to do it. It's really frustrating that I can't get any... None of my trade is going through. But there we go. That's, that's what we... That's what we are currently dealing with. So we've got government by consent. So you chaps... Replenish a little bit more. I've got a cool thousand... We can repair a craft workshop here in the Netherlands. That'll get us some extra cash. It's 1,400 now. You men replenish with whatever you can left. Get to Hanover. Hey, what happened here? I don't know why it says Bavaria me, but I had, I'm sure, I had a ship in there. I'm not sure where it's gone. They've not been destroyed. that it's a lancer unit yeah raid if you like can't really do much else okay so that's really quite a good infantry unit so let's push out of munich towards the enemy towards austria lots of cavalry mediocre troops we might have a good shot to push them back can't really weaken the northern fronts that much. Because we might get a push from Poland. Looks like we are holding off the French from doing anything silly. But we can go in and take... We can't take the city because they've got... They're going to have defences and such like. We want to pretty much garrison Amsterdam enough that we can now bring these remaining troops to bear. So you've gone to wedge, no, don't go on to wedge, go on to explode. Oh no, it's Wismar. Wismar, I'm looking at. Okay, go on to Carol with Flying Shuttle, Coburg, get on to. To be honest, it's, it's just economy. Maybe go for explosive shells to get howitzers. Trade it raided, trade it raided, trade it raided, trade it raided. Got some recruitment done. Wait a minute. Oh, Sigismund Schwarzenberg. Oh, that's a Schwarzenegger. Okay, let's hit in turn. More ships to join my blockade. Oh, France has taken Turin. Clever. Doesn't immediately impact us, but it does mean that fighting the French will be a more drawn out affair than it would previously have been.
Poland is amassing and continuing to try and steal tech. I could do with more artillery, I think, really, in that force that's pushing. That's kind of what I wanted, actually. Draw in most of these armies outside of a outside of the fort and i can obviously all my all my infantry is well i've got a couple of units of militia but they can form defenses against these scallywags although if they all charge though that could get a bit dicey actually i might pull back <laughs> yes i will fight that now now it's just them previously there was a concern that if they swamped me because i did realize actually a good a good chunk of my army is now militia their infantry could mop us up. But now, as it's just a bunch of cavalry, yeah, why not? But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for a battle against the Ottomans. Cheers, everyone.